Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing, reviewing, and telling you the approximate value of the products that I got in my November Sephora play box. First off, every box comes with this handy dandy pamphlet with a little card for 50 extra beauty insider points when you purchase something within the month. And then this handy dandy pamphlet flips all the way out and it tells you everything that you got in your box, why they picked it, and how to use it. The first thing that I got is this gorgeous Sephora Collection Lip Stain. This is one of their cream lip stains. I really like these. I'm pretty sure I've gotten at least one or two others of these. They are nice and long lasting. They kind of dry down and feel somewhere between like a NARS slash Colourpop slash Ciate London, like somewhere in there. I don't know how to describe it, but basically it just lasts longer and feels better than you would expect for the price point because these are very affordable also the color is number 40 pink tea i didn't say that um it's a lot darker than it looks in the bottle and it is also not very pink but i still think it looks very nice so i was pleased with this and the approximate value for this little sample is three dollars and ninety cents Next up is this Travel Size Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier. I have not opened this one. I will be saving it to take with me because I do already like the Laura Mercier setting powder, so I will obviously be using this and I definitely recommend this. And the approximate value for this is $4.68. This is the Purity Made Simple Face Wash by Philosophy. I do like Philosophy but this is definitely not one of my favorite products of theirs. It does a nice job of cleansing my face, but I don't necessarily feel that my face is clean afterwards. I don't know if that makes sense. It still kind of feels like there is residue from this face wash on my skin after I wash it. So I wasn't a huge fan of this. I will continue to use it, and I do like other Philosophy products. I'm just not a huge fan of the Purity Made Simple Face Wash. And the approximate retail value for this is $3. Like I said, love philosophy and their products are very affordable. This is the Lancome Hydra Zen Gel Creme Hydrant Anti-Stress. I really like this. I don't know if I would repurchase it simply because Lancome is fairly expensive and I am very poor, but I did like this. I don't know if I would say it made my skin look less stressed, but it just did a really nice job. It did make my skin look nice. It did kind of get rid of some of the redness as well. Maybe that's just me, but I did like this. Would not repurchase simply because it's expensive. Like I said, very expensive. This little sample is worth about $4.80 for this. And then last but not least is this Christoph Robin Cleansing Volumizing Paste with Pure Rasool Clay and Rose Extracts. Now usually I'm very skeptical of volumizing products for my hair simply because they usually A do not work on me and B what they do to volumize your hair is have a lot of alcohol to strip the moisture from your roots to make them more voluminous. Um, this has very low alcohol in it but again it still did not work for my hair. I actually found that it made my scalp drier which was not what I was looking for um, but it does smell really nice so I will definitely be handing this off to somebody that maybe can benefit more from the volumizing aspect of the product. And then the approximate retail value for this little size is $9.50. So if you were not keeping score, that brings the approximate retail value of my November Sephora Play Box up to $25.88, which is a fairly good value. I'm definitely excited to see what the New Year Sephora Play has in store. I am still subscribed, so I'm excited. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and putting up with my habitual lateness. Thank you grad school. Um, if you haven't already, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ilea, E-Y-E-L-E-A-H. I would love to see you there. And again, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.